welcome to the first i'm not gonna say annual but it'll be there you know in and out welcome to the first super indie boys takeover here at super gamer boys big ball said it was cool so that's what we're gonna do so i'm taking the first baton for e3 coverage and i am going to finally i've been waiting all day to sit down and react to the playdate stream or to the playdate update video if you don't know what the playdate is it's a handheld it's a brand new handheld that's coming out that the developers this is their first project ever making hardware so <laughs> and his name is john cena <laughs> uh but this is their first ever project making hardware and making um they they chose to do something different where they um it only has like a black and white kind of screen kind of sim it's not similar i mean in, in idea is similar to the game boy but it's much more high quality it's almost like almost like those e-ink displays that are on kindle but think of those like pixelated right but the real wrench in everything is that it has a crank on the side and that's actually one of the controls that you use to play the games with and every game is going to be uh by different developers around the world so it's really the ultimate handheld uh indie game machine so when i tell you that i am excited for this you better believe me um yeah i'm hyped <laughs> so without much further ado i think i have it all lined up so it should be ready to go ahead and do so if y'all can't hear it let me know i'll go back and fix it but me and garrett have been going over it back and forth with it so it should it should be okay all right so without further ado let's go ahead and get started here we go i'm excited man i'm excited Okay, can y'all hear it? Okay, you can hear it, cool. This is cool already. Not the epilepsy. <laughs> Hello, it's us, Panic. And I'm Krista. Welcome to our first ever Playdate update. We hope you're doing well wherever you are. Like many of you, we've found the past year to be pretty difficult. And COVID, among other things, hasn't made it any easier to make our first ever hardware product. But despite some bumps and delays, we're still working every day to bring you Playdate as soon as possible. And things are looking pretty good. Now, in case you missed our initial announcement, Playdate is this unique, tiny little handheld game system with a beautiful, high contrast black and white screen, a curious crank that flips out from the side that games can use as an analog input, and it's so a whole cool, new way dude. to enjoy some brand new, never before seen video games. Okay. We've got some amazing stuff to talk about today. So sit back, relax, and let's get cranking. Hey friends, I'm Cable, and I get to talk about a cool new surprise thing because, well, I love doing that. And while it's not necessarily gonna change the world, it's pretty cool. Are you ready? This is the first Playdate accessory. We call it the Playdate Stereo Dock, and like it's Playdate, the look and feel speaker? was designed Hold by on. our good friends at Teenage Engineering. It is a quadruple threat. That's right, four threats. First, it gives your Playdate a beautiful, cozy place to hang out when you're not using it. Second, when you magnetically pop your Playdate onto the dock, it feels very satisfying to do this, it will instantly start charging your Playdate, almost like magic, <laughs> keeping your battery full. Third, it's also a Bluetooth speaker, stereo, which means that your Playdate games will sound extra good. 
And since it's a really nice stereo speaker, we thought it would be cool to use your plated stereo dock uh -huh. to listen to music while you work or say study. So we're making our first ever Playdate app, Pool Suite FM. Poolside? Now, Pool Suite oh, is a no, it used to be poolside. of super summer songs oh, curated what? to lift your spirits. And Pool Suite FM for Playdate brings those great songs to your pocket or your stereo dock. Finally, fourth threat, and this may be my favorite feature of the Playdate stereo dock. It is also a pen Oh holder. my goodness. That's right, you heard me. <laughs> and that means, of course, that we also had to make our own special Playdate ballpoint pen, which will be included with the dock. Look, man, if you think That's I'm not gonna buy dock. that, and the pool you're out of your FM mind. I'm already Playdate buying app. the thing. And they're both coming soon. We'll keep you posted. Back to you, Krista. Oh, the stereo dock is so cute. I can't wait to have it on my desk. So what's next? Playdate season one will include even more brand new games than we originally planned. Here to give us a peek at the lineup for season okay. one, along with some other news, is Arissa, who handles developer relations at Panic. Hey everyone, I'm Arissa. Let's talk about games. Playdate comes with a bunch of brand new games designed expressly for Playdate. And because the prizes are always fun, here's a trick. A new game will be delivered to your plate every single week. Okay. We call it season one. So they are and going with the And as Krista noted, weekly. we lined up even more games than we originally planned. In fact, we've doubled them. Oh, okay. Plate season one will now come with 24 free games. Forget just one game a week. We're now going to give you two games every week for 12 weeks. So you know what you're getting into. We're now going to reveal the names of the season one games. Be careful. If you want to avoid spoilers, maybe cover your ears. And no, I can't. I, I have to know. Are you ready? Here we Season go. Give me that lineup. The following games, not necessarily in this order. Kranken's Time Travel Adventure. Oh, this is the Katamari one. A game one. about a nap-loving robot who just can't seem to make it on time to a number of very important dates. Battleship Godios. Okay. Boogie Loops. Casual Birder. Demon Quest 85. What? Echoic Memory. Executive Golf DX, Flipper Lifter, Horse Burns Up in Smoke. Hey, Ember that's from Firewatch. Lost Your Marbles, a charming visual novel where the role of a marble makes all the difference. Join Prota in this branching narrative adventure as she makes her way through Pomegranate Village on a quest to find her lost dog Minty and make it to the annual festival before day's end. I'm all about it. I'm okay. all about it. <laughs> Pack Pup, Questy Chess. Ratcheteer. Ratcheteer, Fast that's the sleeper hit. Watch. I guarantee Snack. it. Snack. Spell court. Zipper. And Saturday Edition, which tells the story of John Cornfield, who finds himself the subject of public interest when a string of disappearances coincide with sightings of mysterious lights in the night sky. Finally, master your skills and conquer the waves. Surf, crank, and Yo, these are much more wipeout, impressive graphics than I thought we were going to get. We'll also be dropping really some good. fun surprises along the way. <sighs> so many amazing games. Can we guarantee you'll love every single one of them? Probably not. Will you have a great time playing and exploring brand new games from amazing creators? Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, and remember, season one me and you, we, like, we linked up. At no extra cost. There's no subscription fee. They're all yours to keep. Okay. Now let's talk a little bit about the future. We'd like to introduce you to some people who are starting to work on cool things for Playdate. Oh, we they partnered got big with names? narrative development company Sweet Baby to guide and mentor two teams of up and coming developers from marginalized communities who are working on inventive and original new games for Playdate. I'll let them tell you about it. Hi, I'm Kim Belair and I'm the CEO of Sweet Baby Inc. You just saw our game, Lost Your Marbles, and I'm excited to say the best oh, of the, our um, project. The visual novel, okay. Playdate. But this time, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. One of Sweet Baby Inc.'s missions has always been to diversify the industry by providing opportunities and support for new and marginalized developers. And we believe that the strongest support comes from paid, credited experience. I'm all so, about it. To that end, we've partnered with Panic to build two teams, led by a team of veteran developers and staffed by first-time and marginalized developers. Cool. Games, Zolivir Nelson Jr.'s Recommendation Dog and our own Real <laughs> Seal are currently- in the Oh, there is a fishing game. Yes. Yes. Cool. I can't wait for you to see what we're working on. So if you want to follow along for updates, we're at Sweet Baby Inc. on Instagram. Let me follow Twitter, them right now. And I hope you stay tuned. We'll see you soon.
We also recently heard from someone who's already pretty familiar with making one-bit graphics. Return of the Oberdin creator, what? Lucas Pope. Here's Lucas. What? This thing is a lot of fun to work with. The perfect place, I thought, to make something that my kids might like. Less death, more laughs, basically. Uh-huh. So that's what I'm doing. There's no timeline yet. It's still pretty early, but I want to show you what I've made. Okay, so, so this far. is like season two or three, but I'm listening. Mars after midnight. What's going on? Cyclops anger management. Oh man, what's going on? Am I in my house? Where am I at? This, whoa! This is crazy! That's all I got. It's not much, and I can't say. No, it's a lot, doing, sir. But we'll see how it goes. In addition to this, we've watched in amazement as the talented folks in our Playdate developer preview have been creating amazing titles on their own. Look at this. Look at all this. Oh my God. This is gonna be so cool. Thirteen feet tall. Is that real steel? No, they just said it. I missed it. This is all I ever needed. What is this? Whoa. Music. Oh my God. This is bl the potential for what people can do with this? Look at how many ideas they have. Our, oh, somebody's making their own Mario paint. So much potential for the future of Playdate. How will future games be distributed? We've got some great ideas there. Stay tuned. Oh, and there's one more cool thing. We want everyone to be able to make a game for Playdate. And we mean it but there are a lot of incredible storytellers out there who might not know how to code. So we built something to make development accessible to everyone. Introducing uh -huh. Pulp for Playdate. Pulp, Playdate. Inspired by game development environments like Adam Ledoux's incredible Bitsy. Pulp is a brand new tool to create Playdate games. Oh my Using God, they browser. made their own engine. That's right. All Hang you need it up. Is a web browser. Who? Make graphics, create music, use a simple You don't even need to know code. You could just make- together And tell narrative stories super easily. Then press a button and put your new game on your play date. Pulp will be available what else do you this need? year and will be free. So look for what else do you and need? updates on it soon. Thanks. Bye for now. Yes, so exciting. Ooh. Thanks, Arissa. And that's about it for this update. Thank you so much for watching it. It was a lot of fun for me to put together. But before we say goodbye, I'd like to bring Cable back to share one more thing with you. Bring it on home, Cable. Let's go. So. Now you know that Playdate will come with 20 brand new games for free. That we're making a cool new stereo dock, that we've created an easy game making tool called Pulp, and that we have some amazing games being worked on for the future of Playdate. But let's get down to business and talk about what you really want to know. First, Playdate will be priced at $179. It doesn't matter. You, and that includes it, it does, listen the full to me, sir. season sir? of games at no extra charge. It does not matter. But when can you get one? Playdate will be available for pre-order next month in okay. July. I'm ready. And we'll give you a week's warning before mm -hmm. it's time. Now, don't worry. Playdate shouldn't sell out on pre-order day. Oh yeah, they told me this. To I asked them on Twitter about it. And send Playdates out gradually as we get them from the factory. Of course, the sooner you order, the sooner you'll get yours, but we're not gonna close the door on you. And that's not to say something won't go wrong in the process. So we thank you in advance for your patience with whatever that something is. 
If we sell way more playdates than we planned, given how constrained parts are right now due to COVID, it is a really tough time to build things. Mm -hmm. It might take a while for you to get your playdate, but we will be working constantly with the factory to adjust for demand, and we'll be talking to you every step of the way. Okay, and of cool. of course, you will be able to cancel your pre-order at any time for any reason. Look, as long as I can get Just one. Just keep an eye on our Twitter at Play And it gets to me eventually, I'm and cool. when it's pre-order day, visit play.date to place your pre-order. I need to figure out if there's a way <sighs> for a me lot. to stream Thank these, you so man. much for watching. How? How to can I do up, this? We want to show you this amazing Playdate ad that our friends at Sandwich Video made for us. We think it tells the Playdate story really well. Okay. We'll see you next time. If there's a next time, thanks for watching and uh, have a good one. <sighs> I'm so this excited, man. It's uh. called Playdate. I love it. What is it? It's a new thing. It plays games. Uh, I already have a thing that plays games. Not Me like too, this. But this is a little different. We wanted to try something different, and so we did the most difficult, different thing that you could possibly. Let's take another look. Say hello to Playdate. Oh, I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks. That means a lot. Here's a hand. Playdate fits right there. There's an A button, B button, D pad, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, USB C, all the hits. <laughs> Wait, what's that thing? That? That's the crank. crank. It's a crank. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, what is it? A crank. You crank it. Like this. It can control the games. It's fun. Now look at this. The display. Extremely high resolution. Is there a backlight? No, but the screen is super Big cable reflective. fan. What a dude. You can dude. even play by candlelight. <laughs> really? Maybe. That's my guy, man. Playdate was dreamed up by this company called Panic. They're in Portland. They love making things. And this is the first time they've made hardware. So they got a little help from this company called Teenage Engineering. They're over in Stockholm. That makes sense. This guy named Jesper came up with the idea for the crank. Okay, so who makes the games? Some people you've heard of, some people you haven't. You are so mysterious. I love it. So what are these new games they're working on? That's the best part. You won't know what you're getting, not until they Wi-Fi themselves into your Playdate. You know that feeling when... <laughs> That's a great feeling. And that's what Playdate is all what about. A, oh a game man. appears, and then a week later, you get a new one. It's like a season of TV. A mystery surprise game that could be basically anything? Now you're getting it. How long is the season? 12 weeks, 24 games. All season long. You and her and that guy over there and everyone else will be enjoying these mystery surprise games you can't play anywhere else. And also Are they going to make a case? I need a case. Your own games. So, Because this think? thing is never right leaving my backpack. Do. Great. Ready for your Playdate? Oh, and you can also get this snap-on dock with a speaker and a place to hold your pen. Oh my god. <laughs> I said this... <laughs> Was that me? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man, that... That was awesome. That was incredible. I, where do I even... Where... I don't even know where to... Let me collect, let me collect my thoughts. Give me just a second. Let me, okay. Man, that is definitely, that's everything I was looking for. Um, Playdate looks incredible. They, they said, oh, let me cut something on in the background so it's not, just me rambling on but it looks exactly like what i was looking for i i i am so i'm so impressed with um with everything that they they everything that they were doing as far as the rollout having more games for it uh getting the big name producers to help out with it it's just it's all looking very well done and I am, I'm stoked. Quite up to be, I don't know. Did, did, did anybody else who, did you not even know what the play date was? And you were like, actually, that's kind of sick. Let me take a look. Like, did it maybe sell you on it? I'm interested to know um, if anybody else is looking forward to it or even maybe, you know, hey, it's not for me, but it still looks cool. But that was phenomenal. I am I am so excited for what the potential of this console could be. It's and just just even what they had to show right now was wild with the with the extreme contrast of titles that potentially could be coming to the type to the system. And the fact that they can continue to keep on going with this, 
for seasons and seasons and seasons, and they can you know release updated models, maybe with a little more oomph behind them if they ever need to, or maybe they'll keep it like this because the constraints force everybody to get more creative. Um, but I'm I'm definitely I'm sold. I was I was sold back then when I saw the first couple of little demo titles, but now that I see exactly how much work and effort is going on between uh, behind these, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Um, let's see. Pre-order start in July. That's fine. I may get one day one. I may not, but I'll eventually get one. I appreciate that. Um, I, I really wish more companies would do open pre-orders for stuff. So that way we can all get one. And you know what? That kind of basically defeats the purpose for people who are going to scalp it. So there is a chance that I might be able to get one day one, but best believe if I do order one and it gets here earlier or it gets here day one, there will be super gamer boy videos about it. No doubt about it. I just need to figure out a way to see if there's some way we can capture the games themselves. There has to be right. I know it's going to be tough, but somebody has to figure that out. Um, I'm just kind of rambling at this point because I'm I'm kind of flabbergasted. Like I didn't expect it to be that good. And, and it feels like it feels like it was made by people who care. You know what I mean? Like a small team that cares about the product. Um, and that is really endearing. I really liked the uh, message from the sweet baby people, how they're using marginalized groups to help and get them to develop and create games. So they're working with them. I really appreciate that because not a lot of people are, I mean, more people are doing it now than ever, but not a lot of people are doing it in mass. So I really appreciated that. And I also like um, that they're getting developers big and small. I mean, big in the indie scene and small in the indie scene, some we've never heard of. I'm really excited because I feel like there's going to be some games that they're going to take everybody by surprise and be like, whoa, but you can only play them on a play date. And that's the best part. It's going to make people have to get more and more. And then we get more support, more games. I'm interested to see. They have to have more than just season one lined up, right? So what is season two looking like? Are we paying for season two? I'm fine to pay for season two. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Overall, I'm, I'm very excited for it. If anything else, if you don't take nothing else from this, your boy is very excited for the play date. I will definitely be getting one and you will definitely not be able to shut me up about it. Um, yeah, that's about it. I didn't think it was going to be, I knew it was going to be like 15 minutes. So I knew this wasn't going to be too long, but I wanted to at least take a look and make sure in the middle of all the Microsoft's and Nintendo's and, and Bethesda's and all this stuff that the little guy doesn't get forgotten about. And that's kind of where we're at. So, you know, whole lot of not a whole lot of people might watch this but that's fine it's out there i didn't forget about y'all your boy didn't forget about the little guy let that be said but i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here i appreciate y'all for hanging out with me for just a little bit on the first ever indie boys takeover it will not be the last but until next time i'm gonna get out of here i'm gonna catch y'all later i'm gonna let gary do the flippity flop thing all right peace